Hey guys, it's Nick here today to talk about everyone's favorite topic, the foot and why your arches matter. So your foot is amazingly complex. It has all kinds of different bones, muscles, ligaments that help it go from this very adaptable structure when you hit the ground to this really rigid bony structure that can propel you forward when you walk. And it's amazing and super complex. But I love to boil everything down and make it really simple and easy to understand. So here's an awesome analogy to help you guys really visualize in a simple way how we load and absorb force through our feet when we walk. So I like to explain the foot as a spring. So let's take this model for example. I know it doesn't look anything like a foot, but let's just pretend that this is your foot. These are the bones of your foot. These are all the ligaments, connective tissue, tendons, all those different things. Um, so this is your foot when it's unloaded, when your leg is coming towards the ground to land. And then when it hits the ground, it softens and loads. And then when you're about to take a step forward, it unloads, see how it's bouncy, propels you forward, right? So with every single step you're taking, your foot goes from this rigid structure to soft and loaded, and then bounces again to propel you forward. So when you go to take a step and your leg swings out and your foot is about to land on the ground, if your foot was a spring, it would have to be unloaded, right? So our foot is in a certain position, it's supinated, it's laterally tilted, it's ready to hit the ground and absorb force and then load. So before we hit the ground, we're an unloaded spring. As soon as our foot hits the ground, it adapts to the ground below us, it gets soft and it loads the spring up. And then in order to propel us forward, that spring has to unload again. So just like a spring does, it's unloaded, it loads, and then it propels us forward so you have to imagine if you have arches that are flat or dropped to the floor more, you're already in that loaded position. And when you come down on the ground, when you, that foot lands, it's essentially just slapping the ground because it's already loaded. There's no spring to unload into the ground to then propel you forward. This is why people, when they have very dropped arches, a lot of time deal with low back pain, um, you know, pain up through the hamstrings, even neck pain just because they're sending those forces all the way up the chain, right? So on the other hand would be a very high arched, supinated, rigid foot. And a foot that's supinated and rigid is really good at propelling us forward, but it's not really good at loading and softening. So this is why we want to have somewhere in the middle, a neutral foot that is able to absorb force from the ground and then propel us forward. So again, just like anything else in life, we're striving for a balance when it comes to our feet and anything with our health. So if you have any other questions about foot health, biomechanics, movement, feel free to check out my website, blueprintwellnessllc.com, and feel free to comment with any other questions. Thanks so much.